Hey everyone, welcome to Finding Limits Algebraically. In the last video I did a direct substitution example in factoring and now I'm going to look at an example of rationalizing the numerator. So again, the idea here is that we're going to always try to start with direct substitution and then you kind of just work your way down to see if any of these things are possible. So this example is going to be rationalizing the numerator. So let's look at an example. Okay, and the example is going to be find the limit as x approaches 13 of the square root of x minus 4 minus 3 all divided by x minus 13. Okay, so if I plug in 13, I'm actually going to get 0 over 0, which is indeterminate. You could use L'Hopital's rule, but again, this is we're just starting out, so we're not going to do that. We're going to do this algebraically. So I'm going to go ahead and just rewrite the limit problem. Okay, so I have the limit as x is approaching 13 of the square root of x minus 4 minus 3 all over x minus 13. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is rationalize this numerator. Okay, I've got to get rid of this x minus 13. So I'm going to look at the numerator and say, well, I'm going to use the conjugate here. That's rationalization. So it's the same terms, just opposite signs in between. Okay, so notice it's the same thing here, but plus 3. And you've got to do the same thing to the top and bottom. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and just multiply the top out using a lot of people say FOILS distributive property this times this, this times here, th negative 3 times this and here. So we're going to actually get x minus 4 plus 3 times the square root of x minus 4 minus 3 times the square root of x minus 4 minus 9. Okay, that's the numerator. Denominator, I'm not going to multiply out. I'm actually going to leave that, and you'll see why in just a second. So we're going to save ourselves some work. Okay, when I rationalize these, I usually never multiply out the denominator because things are going to simplify. Uh, we have additive inverses here. Boom, this is gone. This is gone. And then we have the minus 4, minus 9. Okay, so we're on our way to finishing up this problem with algebra. So we have x is approaching 13. And then the numerator here is just going to be x minus 13, okay, over, I left the denominator. Now, hopefully you can see why if you're a step ahead of me. Look what's going to happen with the x minus 13s. They are going to become 1. They're going to simplify. They're the same term. Multiplication here, this is 1. This is 1. That's fantastic for us, okay? So we're going to now have the limit as x approaches 13 of 1 over the square root of x minus 4 plus 3 on the denominator. And now it's a matter of substitution. What you're doing now is you've eliminated the problem and this x is replaced with that 13. Okay, That's what's going to happen with the direct substitution. And now you have 1 over root 9 plus 3. So that's just 1 sixth. Okay? So the limit as x approaches 13 of this function, or of this expression, okay, is going to be 1 sixth. And that's how to rationalize the numerator and find that limit algebraically. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. We'll see you next time.